Hi, my name is Mark Immelman. I'm a PGA Tour and Champions Tour golf instructor. I've been teaching golf since about 1996 and I love the game and I'm passionate about helping people find their best. In my years, I've researched the golf swing and the golf game a lot and I've tried lots of training aids. And honestly, the Putter Master is one of the more simple to use, easy to apply, effective golf training aids I've ever come across. The Putter Master is a training aid that promotes wrist and forearm stability during the putting stroke. Real simple aid, it comes in three parts, two arms and the one central ring. To fit it together, so simple. You take either arm and you just screw it into either side of the central ring. And when you have the little training aid completely together, it'll look something like that. Once assembled, the putter master is very easy to fit to your putter. You will notice that the central ring is a little larger than normal. That's to accommodate people that use oversized putter grips. Nonetheless, to use it on a regular putter, very easy. You just slip the central ring over the putter grip, tilt the cuff or the central ring slightly forward or back for just an extra, uh, extra little bit of leverage. Then go about tightening either one of the arms. Strive as far as possible to tighten either arm a similar amount so that when you look down at it you will see that both arms have moved through the putter ring about an equal amount. When you've got it done correctly the putter master should support the putter grip and be fairly snug and to check that you've got it on there accurately if you raise the putter up it should look like the arms of the putter master are sitting at right angles to the putter face. Once attached to your putter the putter master is about as easy to use as any training aid you've ever encountered. You will notice that the arms sit at right angles to your putter face. Go about gripping the putter as you normally would. You might feel like you have to hold slightly lower down the grip than normal, but that's okay. Remember, this is a golf training aid and it is here to teach you wrist and forearm stability. So grip the club as usual and then maintain a little bit of pressure between each of the wrists or forearms, however it touches you, and try and maintain even pressure with either arm on the blades of the putter master. Once you are in that position, you are on your way to making more stable, more accurate putting strokes. Now remember the object and the purpose of the putter master is to promote wrist and forearm stability. That being said, a good putting stroke actually has the blade open and closed slightly, whether you're a lefty or a right-hander. But in this instance for right-handers, you want to feel like when the blade goes back, the putter master will rotate ever so slightly clockwise. Then on the through swing, you should feel that the putter master rotates ever so slightly counterclockwise. That is the correct open and release of the blade. Obviously, if you're making a shorter stroke, there will be less rotation. But the longer we go, the more the putter master should arc. Looking from down the line, it would look something like this. You get your forearms on that putter master, you maintain the pressure to create that forearm stability. Then as we swing back, you will feel that the putter master will just open slightly or point to your right. Then as you keep your body still and you swing through, you will feel the correct release of that putter master will have it point slightly to the left. Remember the purpose of the putter master is to encourage wrist and forearm stability and to help you to create a repeating consistent putting stroke. Two things to do to make sure that you really maximize this training aid. Number one, ensure that you get the blades or the arms of the putter master sitting at right angles to your putter face. If you set the putter master on a little bit crooked, it can certainly affect your ability to line your forearms and your body up correctly. Secondly, make sure that you retain even pressure between either forearm and the arms of the putter master. As you swing back and forth, make sure that those arms retain pressure and you feel stability down there. If indeed you feel the putter master moving up and down your forearms and you get a real uneven sense down there, you know that you are using the putter master incorrectly. We want to strive to keep that putter master sitting against the forearms. 
If you are struggling with extra stability and you do feel the putter master moving away from your forearms, it does come with a stability cord that you can connect to either sides of the aid that you slip around your arms and it helps to keep your arms and wrists and forearms in position even more during your putting stroke. So the purpose of this putter master is to make sure that we eliminate extra wrist action and to create as stable and consistent a forearm action as possible. If you're feeling like you're struggling to do so without any assistance, we can use the stabilizing cord to provide a little extra assistance as you make good putting strokes. It's really easy to connect to your putter master. The stability cord is a stretchable black piece of cord. Very, very easy to connect to your putter master. It has a looped end and an end without a loop. Take the end without the loop and just slip it through one of the holes on either end of the putter master. If you pull it tight, you will feel like the, the loop hooks right there. Then take that end and slip it through the loop and pull it taut and you will have one end of your stability cord connected to your putter master. Then take the end of the cord and slip it through the hole on the other arm, the opposite arm of the putter master. Pull it fairly tight and then take the little lock clip that comes along with the stability cord and slip the cord through that little end. Pull it as tight as you can and you will feel that you've created quite a lot of tension between the stability cord and the arms of the putter master. Slip your forearms between the stability cord and the arms of the putter master. Go about gripping the putter as normal and you will feel pressure created by the stability cord down onto your arms and pushing your arms against the arms of the putter master. The less pressure there is, the more it allows you to focus on your form. The tighter you make the cord or the more taut you pull it, the more it forces you to keep your forearms right against the arms of the putter master. So if you're struggling with a severely wristy stroke or too much arm action, pull that stability cord tight and it will show you the support that you need to make those consistent stable putting strokes. So if you're struggling with a stroke, use that stability cord. Make it real tight, it'll push your forearms against the arms of the putter master and help to encourage that stable wrist and forearm action, which is the hallmark of what all great putters do.